Hi guys, it's Crafty K Bug, and today I'll be teaching you how to make the double band bracelet on your friendly band Sunshine Loom. So let's get started. To make this bracelet, you'll be needing get it to focus on my loom. Okay, to make the bracelet, you will need your Sunshine Loom, and you will be needing some bands and your FB hook, and then an FB link or a normal S or C clip. Today I'll be using this normal C clip right here. So let's get started. To begin, we're going to begin on the start side and you're going to start by going from pegs 1 to 2 with your first color and then from pegs 1 to 25 with your second color. And by the way, the Friendly Bands Company has a YouTube channel and they have a tutorial on this bracelet so I'll be linking their tutorial in the description box down below. And then you're going to continue going along your outer circle of your sunshine loom. So you're just going to take it, you're going to go forward from pegs 2 to 3 from pegs 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6, 6 to 7. You're just going to continue going along your outer circle until you reach your sizes. So I'll be fast forwarding from here so pause the video and press play when you're ready. Once you reach the peg before your size peg, you're going to stop. And instead of going straight to your size peg, like you think you might, you'll want to go into the center. Just like this. Today, I'm making a medium sized band. So you're going to go back to the start side and your arrows are facing away from you and you're just going to continue going along the middle circle of your sunshine loom. So simply take a band and bring it forward. So I went from 25 to 26, 26 to 27, 27 to 28, 28 to 29, 29 to 30, 30 to 31, 31 to 32, and you're going to repeat until you get back to your size peg. So I'll be fast forwarding from here. As you can see, I've gone all the way up to the this peg peg number 42 and you're just going to stop at the appropriate size and you're going to go back to the start side right here and we're going to begin laying the inner bands of our bracelet. So let's skip the, um, what should we call it, the first couple pegs here the first three I'd say would probably be the best idea and you're going to take your next on these two we're going to place the um, I guess you could say locking bands from peg 26 to 3 so what you're going to do is you're going to put it on 26 then put it on 3 then stretch it out farther take it and twist it and wrap it back around 26 and then back around three just like that. Now I'm going to do the same thing from 27 to 4 so push these two down 
go from 27 to 4, stretch it out, wrap it back around 27 and 4. Like that. Repeat on 28 and 5. Right here, you're just going to grab it, take it, and twist it back around. Repeat for 29 and 6. And you're just going to continue doing this until you reach your size pegs where you stopped at the beginning. So I'll be fast forwarding from here. So once, so once you get up here, um, you're not going to lay anything on these three pegs just yet. But now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to lay one single capping band just on peg 42. Or whatever peg you stopped at. So you're going to take it, attach, twist, and loop around. Just like that. Now you're going to be going to your hook side of your loom. And we're going to begin the hooking process. So you're going to take your FB hook and we're going to begin by hooking the inner circle. So we're going to start by grabbing our capping band with our hook. So just grab it, twist your hook, and grab that top navy rubber band and loop it forward. Now grab this next navy band right here. going to grab it and loop it forward. Now make sure this white band gets pushed back a little bit. Grab the navy band underneath and loop it forward. And you're just going to keep looping these forward going inside the white looping the navy forward. And you're going to continue doing this all the way um, through the middle circle. So I'll be fast forwarding from here. So once you reach right here, you're just going to be grabbing this navy and looping it up into peg number one. Just like that. Now you're going to go back to your hook side and your arrow should be facing this way. And you're just going to be push, grab the capping band, twist it and push it back. So once again, let's grab, uh oh, grab, twist and push, grab the orange and loop it out like this. Push back these two oranges, grab your next orange, and loop it forward. Now you're going to make sure you push back the two whites, grab the orange underneath, and hook it forward. Push back the whites again, Grab the orange and loop it forward. Push back the white. Sorry, this is a really weird angle, I know. 
grab the orange and loop it forward. Sorry, I can't really see this very well. I'm trying to figure out a good angle here. You're going to push back the white, grab the orange, and loop it forward. Push back the white, grab the orange, and loop it forward. And you're going to continue this until you reach the end of your loom. So once you get back to the start. So I'll be fast forwarding from here. So once you reach the end, you're just going to stick your hook in through all of them, and grab a white rubber band, stick it on your hook, pull it through all of those, slide all the ways on your hook, and attach the other end. Now you're going to grab your S or C clip, or FB link, and you're just going to put it on like that. Now you're ready to remove your bracelet from your balloon. So just tug from side to side and it should come right off. Let me put my hook there. I'm just going to be tugging from side to side like this. Making sure not to snap any of the bands, which if you're using FB or bands or even rainbow loom rubber bands you shouldn't have any trouble because those both of those are very high quality and there you go you have a friendly bands double band bracelet so now all you have to do is take the capping band take your bracelet loop it around and attach your C-clip, and there you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and the question of the video today is, do you want more Sunshine Loom tutorials? And another thing, just spread out these loops, kind of stretch them apart, and then they will look a lot better. So I got a couple here that kind of got overlapped while they were on the loom. So all you have to do is untwist them like this and they come right off. So there you have it, your Friendly Bands double bracelet. Thanks for watching. Answer the question of the video in the comment section below and I'll see you next time. And I have an um, external mic headset thing coming in soon. So I'll be using that and sound quality will improve soon. So once again, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.